But Primus is so much more interesting. Welcome, guys. Let's play some Mech Rogue. I still think this would be uh, an interesting card to just have around. Maybe in, at 4 mana? Where Wind Condition is trying to do something special. Trying to let things survive, accumulate some kind of resource, and then you unleash the ultimate power. But you still have to buff the dude, which is possible with Magnetic. I mean, Mimoron's head still looks fucking cool. The Primus, though, uh, broken my heart alongside with every other Titan. It's just like every other Titan, except it's a pretty good one, and a lot of people played it. And that's it, that's that's the whole thing. I don't think Titan is interesting. I don't think Titan is interesting to win with. I don't think it's interesting to extend the game too much. When it's not necessary to do so. It's kind of weird, man. Now I do not appreciate that we have 30 cards anymore. We don't have to have that many. Imagine how much brain damage uh, Prince Renathal gave me. Since I'm making this comment already. How convenient is that? You spent 8 mana for this? What happened? Did he trail mix that? It's crazy. Wish I could do that. Ooh. One and two and three and four and Will he actually play it again? Because that would be so hilarious. I might not be able to no. Nope, rewind time, boys. In fact, that is the topic. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. It's the best rewind ever. Because he only keeps getting better. Every year. That's my actual responsibility. Not to play a Hearthstone, but to do something better with my life. Hmm. But whatever we just looked at, that was very weird. Very brave of this man. I, d I mean, I'm still gonna be disappointed. That's the emotion. Forever. We didn't get nerves. Mage just got, you know, a shoe confiscated or something. Crazy. They can't run as fast. The other discussion is also interesting. But I, I was thinking of, like, hmm, Caulifero is also an interesting card to play. And I realized, no, it's not. It's garbage. Maybe Lena. Lena is pretty cool. It's not a win condition, but like, for fucks, at least it's cool. It's comparable. Yeah, making it Hearthstone being competitive. And, uh, capitalist being greedy. Like, well, you, you gotta rank up to Legend every single time. It's gonna be the greatest motivating factor of uh, zombifying the game. Because now everyone has an incredible amount of skills. And everyone uh, gets to tune in to where is that 51% win rate deck? Where is it? What is it? What do I copy and paste? Yeah. Being rewarded for being competitive is brain damage. Any problem. And over time, the game becomes more and more toxic. Because you gotta keep up, man. What are you doing? I can keep up, because I play the game every single expansion. But holy shit, is this not easy? What the fuck is he doing? 
Let's bring the nerfed mage. I love that. I could do pretty well just by letting this survive. Maybe there's something inside here I can do. Okay. <sighs> now the game, the game is fun, ga making fun of us more than ever before, which is a big deal because like. Haven't we already had enough of pain and suffering? Hmm. Crazy. Not much we can do about that. Well, it's six attack. Very interesting. Yeah. The competitive nature is what makes the Hearthstone so fucking toxic. Because it enables power creep. It justifies power creep because po cards just have to be stronger every single time. Otherwise the cards will stop being competitive. And that's the death of the game. Eventually. This, it's, it's checkmate of develop for developers. To do anything, to make an impact. So they have to rotate, they have to keep making things stronger every expansion, so that even even a, even rotation is not enough. The power creep has to stay. It's mental, bro. It's absolute fucking mental. If they limit the card pool and rotate things every expansion. I see that's pretty interesting. You know, like, we have like a mech expansion and all the mechs come back. We have some murloc expansion, all the murloc and beach creatures and sea creatures come back. Like, it would be fascinating to have a giant rotation every single expansion. Fuck it, right? Instead of stacking things together and power creeping everything. Just filling in the gaps, just adding cool things into the game. It's like, you can't get away with power creep, you just can't. It's, it's, it gets worse and worse. Solves any problem. You saw me win with Wind Fury, and that's my win condition. Wind Fury. There's nothing else. That's just how I win the game. We always play the stupid power corrupt one drop. It just gets boring. And uh, when I say power creep, like, no one's going it to creates leave. these giant minions. These giant legendaries that make no fucking sense. The win game cards. Then, I mean, this. That's the checkmate. For themselves. Hmm. Ooh. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, we got fucked already. Just because he played a two drop. We got defeated. Thanks for watching. Even two attack is good enough. Even just summoning is too good enough. He failed though. It's crazy. Crazy how you can fail summoning a one drop. I'll try again, bro. Still have two mana. And hurry up. No one's going to believe this. What the fuck? Holy sh Oh it's close. Well, I can kill it with a stab. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. Are we doing this? Yes, we're doing that. Yes, we're doing that. The world has to change, like, clearly. And the way it has to change is... If, if we're leaning towards algorithms and AI, how about we fucking figure out 
which players are the least toxic and worthwhile to keep in the game. Because people who rope me, people who just play the same fucking deck over and over again, maybe I, I don't want them. I don't want to play against them. They have to be decent and interesting. And they would have priorities and all that shit. If they are interesting to play against. Fucking like and dislike system. Let's fucking go. Because we, like, we would benefit from that. No one would just massively dislike every single opponent. It doesn't give you any advantage. You're not the one benefiting. In the end. You know, they, they power creep everything except one fucking card. Nosdorm. You know? Nosdorm will never give me a fucking rope when I really, really want a fucking rope. Yeah. Maybe, like, my opponent can, like, sacrifice one mana every single turn and negate the rope. Like, there can be a card in, in their hands that allows them to do that. And that would fix the issue of, like, if uh, they didn't see it coming. But, fuck it, dude. I want a storm to be power crap. Like, we, we still are fearful, in general, of actually good things happening to Hearthstone. Bad things happening to Hearthstone, easiest thing to to do. We add bad cards and we do bad balance changes. That's it, bro. The, the easiest thing. I'm not impressed for some reason. This party's farty. Let me return that return policy, my friend. So sorry. Uh huh. Yes, emote me. Them high. And call over there. You know what? It's not there. worth it. We go smash face. I probably should have just rocked. Ooh, double trouble, baby. Oh, shit. Okay, you gotta shut the fuck up now. You control another Nick. I... This is too useful, bro. This is expendable. Yeah. I do make calculations right now. It's good stuff. Technically, I want to play this instead of that, but whatever happens. No, I still just... Dumb self-defense garbage. Is it playable? What the fuck is this? Yeah, it's just that one convoy thing. Just the, the dumb thing that we just countered. Whoops. So sorry about that. Access denied. That was the highest card, by the way. Like, why would he want to even draw this? Uh, there's no more minions in his deck. He can't even play that 8-drop. Because he would lose the game instantly.
Cool. Game, guys. Oh, man. Still need to play this thing. Oh, for fuck's sake, none of my minions survived. Is what it is. Not easy to break this guy when he's so shady. Nope, easy. Just play random card. Oh, you just stole the fucking card because that's just what you do. And now I lost the game. What the fuck? Oh my fucking god, bro. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? It's just how stupid the fucking game is. Oh, it's just unbelievable. Alright, I have no other choice but to evaluate. Jeez. <laughs> it's unplayable. It's all garbage now. Play card! The moment big cards do too much, then that's the moment when small cards don't do enough. <laughs> Be interesting. You never know what's gonna happen to me after I do stuff. You just never know. So when I'm building the YouTube Rewinds that does pew pew pew, across the screen and looks pretty and stuff and it takes two months to develop i imagine who knows maybe my passions will change maybe i will improve myself because i often have to i have to improve and i i kind of like collect all the problems Just to solve them. Or, um... Take a step back. I don't know. It's all fine. I don't know. He's not buffing anything. I'll probably just play Behemoth. My best bet. Nope. Got busted, bro. That sucks. And now we're just gonna get to late game where he plays card and win games. Red detect. Dispatching battle. Yeah, that'll be nice. I think I can afford not to play it. Hmm. I feel like I did a lot in this turn. It's gonna baffle me. Look at all these giants I just created. And get to return this to my hand. As if nothing happens. Yeah, the healing is gonna happen. That's about it, like... What is he gonna do, man? <sighs> Calculate his loose condition. This just gives me some spells for his face damage. It's over. There's... what? I want this, alright? Ooh. Well, could have done 
better. But I actually have one shot, one kill. I could have played Jenkins, to be honest. Boom! One drop kills! So fast! Yeah, they would bring back some cards. And it would be fine. And bring them to a, a power level that's like more appropriate. If they can find a slightly higher, more interesting power level, like or whatever. Do more crazy shit. With less mana. Obviously, they don't have any strategy, anything whatsoever. But you, you do need a consistent line of power where nothing spikes out and becomes just a card in everyone's deck. Uh, that doesn't even belong in that deck. It's just too powerful not to play that card. This will trade with that. Shit. The amount of effort I'm putting here. Hmm. Alright, cool. Tempo battle. I could have traded with this. Just as good. But I have poisonous. Oh, so normal. If I can do something about this, then yeah, but normally I can't. Hmm. Lame. Checking my calculations. <laughs> Oh, we gotta do. What we gotta do. Improvise. What? Interesting. Does that allow me to do anything? Nope. I can play taunt, though, overall. And trade into. This minion over there. Oh my god, I fucking hate Bran. Mm. Oh, I didn't die, and I do have Flame Strike. That's a good game. No, I can't evaluate. I don't have energy for anything, bro. Pain and suffering. It is. Because past Flame Strike, like. I'm not doing anything at all. Three damage guaranteed. I don't think you play the second one. I mean, third one. So. Weapon kills me, obviously. Bloodlust kills me. That's how a removal looks like. Isn't that crazy? Borkler everywhere. Removal, even as assassin class. No poisonous weapon, nothing, bro. Hilarious. I think Hidden Jam is always two copies in the deck in every single rogue. And you don't have a fucking choice. Yeah, the, the second discussion is pretty interesting too, and maybe you heard my opinion, but I'll just I'll just give my gold for twist to exist. What else are we gonna do? Twist is the only fucking uh, not so competitive game mode. 
that I can be refreshed a lot. Le Twist is exactly what I asked for, basically. There's a theme. You pull some cards together. And uh, we might use the new expansion or whatever. But that's it. That's the whole fucking point. I was making. Twist is the best thing that's being abused in front of our eyes it is just unbelievable of like are you fucking heartless pieces of shit you know but of course they are because they're anonymous they're you can't interact with them these developers are They lived with, they outlived their usefulness. Hmm. I mean, everyone's waiting for AI games to take place, like something, something reasonable, something to. Change the meta game, and uh, hopefully Raron is gonna find one of those soon enough. Cause holy, we we're not gonna play Bazaar, guys. I swear, we're not gonna play Bazaar and enjoy it. I will have a vomit bucket next to myself while I play Bazaar. And see if I can fill it, you know, that's gonna be the game. But just doing a good version of Hearthstone, no one can do that. Never been done before and never will be. Too fucking expensive. For me. So it must be the biggest hurdle. If I can't do it, no one can. Is that so? Oh, for fuck's sake. No, we just win. Who's gonna stop me now? Ooh! You do have to smack him in the face. Damn, he stole. Get the fuck up, bro. His name was super toxic, and bro, like, I was really bad. I barely survived that emote. I hate Windows, bro. Windows doesn't even have the proper windows. Will serve me Don't have that. Death. It's all broken. Everything, everything's a fucking meme. This is how we start the game. Everything's a meme. Card game. No, but it's meme game. It's a pretty good meme game. Where uh, mage plays card. One and two and three and four and. Pretty exciting. No, it's it's meme game because there's so many cards that are like just so awful to look at makes such a terrible impact ooh this is badass fucking wrong can target me wind fury baby fast for whoa it synerg the voice line synergized with itself now that's pretty awesome. 
Oh, let's go. Let's go. It would have been a great evaluation. Just because of that. I love it, man. Hmm. You know what? Bye. Hmm, five, six, seven, eight. Didn't count to nine, though. I let him do it. Yeah, I mean, you would love to do that right now. <laughs> it is turn five after all. Like, you should be able to do something. But this is how we win games, so... Deal with it. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, find a taunt. How about that? Make me happy. So I can stab its divine shields. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Are we... Is it over? Thirteen. Alright. Lol. Should I play until I lose my first game? After this win streak? No, I mean, Hearthstone roasting is so much cooler. I should just focus on that, it's so easy, just watch other people's content. And laugh at it. It's not big mage spell. F f sh stop printing mage decks. Jesus. This guy can't stop, man. He just keeps finding mage decks. The excavate tempo. Right, that, that looks normal. From Divine Shield and Okay, finally a normal deck. Well fuck get the fuck out of here, YouTube. Stop asking me questions. Ridiculous. Have you checked the captions? The fuck who cares? I didn't even click. Out the egg and then right after that we Wow. Oh. I mean the egg hunter is not interesting to me. But I never played it. So I would play it. I hope he's alright, man. I think it has charge. I think it's... No. We're, we're gonna see him heal real hard. What do you mean? What do you mean good news? There's no such thing. Let's get salty! Are we crazy? Everyone um, uh, uh, survive? Coin? Still have to use coin. What's going on? Bro. You can't win. I just attacked. Is he su- Time's running out! <sighs> wow, okay, that's cool. That's cool, bro. In Warlock, just suicide. Suicide Warlock. I mean, what? A little bit too greedy, man. Should have just waited for the heal to pop. Shouldn't they have, like, potions or something? Good news, and we'll take it. Good news, someone subscribed. You should do that, too. Maybe. It's always a good time to subscribe, whether I upload or not upload. It's all good. Whether I vomit for you on the screen and do absolutely nothing interesting. Great, then don't watch the video. Accidents. But you, you might want to give yourself an option. To choose. As well as the event that started yesterday. 
is reopening. The Hearthstone team apparently growing, which is always a growing. They're growing every year. Mm. They're a little bit older and more annoying. Sign, as well as the event. I'm a little bit stumped that that's the Zilliax I'm playing right now. Why don't you just play five mana eight eights? Or is it a tendon? I think it's eight eight. Fuck, I I don't know, man. No, it's eight eight. That'll be good enough. Or just poison a Zilliax good enough. Because it's like elusive. This is the worst one. This is hands down the stupidest Zilliax you can play right now. Oh, it doubles. It doubles in power level. And it still does not impress me, to be honest. But, um, I guess I'll take it. So, uh, what is in there? It's never that interesting. Let's just pick this garbage. Do some insignificant things. Ugh. Disgusting. Well, it's... 20 damage, potentially. That'll be fun. It's not gonna happen, though. Well, that... It's good news for me. Well, I guess that's the game I lose now. Is what it is. Give myself a reborn to waste it. There's nothing I can do no more. Alden being such a bad matchup. Makes me feel like I want Taunt's footman as fucking mental. But first, please, Zilliax, this is the stupidest one. Come on. Come on, there's... There's this Taunt, but like... Why did they do that? I would love a Taunt Zilliax. And we didn't... Get, this is the stupidest game design as well. They didn't give a fuck. They just memed. They fucking added a meme and everything else is also a meme because, like, this should have been split into two pieces. Tone to Divine Shield, the, you know, annoying module. That's a much better meme. And Lifesteal Rush, I don't know. It's just a very powerful module that probably would cost um, the three mana. But... You can only combine these two together, and uh, they would die instantly, and it would be six, uh, like seven mana creature. It's so cool if you just split it into two pieces. The annoying and like the healing module, some bullshit like that. I don't know, man. It's always disappointing because they have infinite amount of time to fix their mistakes. Instead, they want to print more cards because they're so artistic and creative. And it's just, uh, the juice keep on flowing and uh, taking our, uh, all our money, so it must be good. You know? Oh, wait, I haven't actually given a fucking single dollar to this game. Not a single dollar. And I'm very proud of that. I gave a lot of anger that they don't give a fuck about. I gave a lot of, uh, just effort in general and time. They don't give a fuck about that. They can't monetize that. I'm so sorry, bro. I think people are not understanding what's actually going on. I think capitalism needs to be exposed all the time because this is what happens. Capitalism gives you ass, you know, look at the ass, pay attention to the ass, but the ass will not listen to you whatsoever. The ass does not care about you. The ass is not helpful to your life. It's detrimental to your life. That is, that is the ass, boys. 
Um, these guys. This is the best one. It's just a six mana badass jelly X copy paste bullshit. Uh, the recursive module is a five mana version. It's kind of sad that you can only get a six mana zilli X or five mana. Technically, three mana is the smallest one. And it sucks. Three mana sucks. I mean, it's a five five though. It's kind of lovely. How much is that? How much is this? It's too expensive. Kind of interesting though. I uh, no. If they, it's just like the same with Mr. Beast Woody. If if you put enough effort into something, then it's like at least good. At least good quality. But they just gonna burn the fucking cards anyways. The after rotation, just throw it in the trash and forget about it. Wonderful. I've touched on every single aspect, every single problem. I have completed a hearthstone 100 percent That's the way you do it. And now we expose capitalism. How do we expose capitalism? Well, this this game is meant to be frustrating this game is meant to like give you a promise that it cannot deliver it's all garbage but it keeps promising you things it keeps trying to attempt to be a game because a lot of people contribute but capitalism is stealing from everyone people who are contributing to this game developers are getting stolen from people are getting stolen from this game as itself is being stolen from because it's not actually good not good enough everyone just keeps waiting for it to be good which is like the stupidest thing it's just like you get it you waiting to get paid and that's how they get you basically you just keep on waiting the moment you keep on waiting uh you're you're making a mistake You have to be satisfied with what you get. If you're waiting for some, shut the fuck up. By the way, we don't need you around. I'm not sure if this trades. We get to heal it. Anyways. Yeah, capitalism burns everything. The only question, is this real? Is this a real game? Because I don't think it is. Because it has to improve, right? Improve over time. So maybe the proof that this is not a game comes from uh, figuring out if when was the sweet spot and when did the game stop improving and I think it's always Skull Skullman's Academy I think they started just breaking the game then in every way Jesus Christ very useful might be the most useful thing I have ever received. We go gnome into a bunch of coins into this. And I still have one mana left over. Pretty badass. I'm drawing two cards, bro. That's the exciting. Like, they had so many years to make the game exciting somehow. They missed the mark. Oh wow, this guy's gonna play a bunch of coins. Damn. That's pretty fucking good. Yeah, I will not play beyond this point. So, 
it's very, very bad. Capitalism taking over a game. Or stupid ideas taking over the game. Stupid intentions. It just happens. But you must understand, like, the game is dead. Hearthstone is dead. No one's gonna take charge of Hearthstone and make it good again. We cannot elect leaders into... We can only wait for either a good triple A card game, which is very unlikely, or we can increasingly acknowledge of uh, that developers have to like come together somehow and stitch things together, like. Even Rauron has ability to simulate a card game, funny enough. And somehow it's, uh, it's not being taken seriously. Hmm. People just never really finish their pro projects, you know, maybe that's the biggest flaw. And again, don't take themselves seriously when it comes to doing anything. This is just lame. Like, there's nothing I can do anymore. Checking my calculations. So lame. I guess. Hmm. I guess I can fart. Oh, it drew cards. Yeah, that's insane. A fucking legendary elemental into elemental synergy legendary. What a cool thing. What a cool RNG to happen, guys. I am such a happy person now. Amazing. To see that. Hmm. These are not enough for me. Also, what the fuck? When will I ever? <sighs> It's just not enough. Now it's enough. What? Barely enough to dodge damage. None of this is interesting anymore because he just broke the game by playing big ass cards that I can't deal with anymore. Only thing you have to do to understand the actual vibes of what's going on here is he plays coin and this thing vomits out a random legendary. Just just changing this into just a vomit or a bleh, you know? Bleh. And now you understand what's going on. How crappy does it feel like? I mean, I am so lucky to get a flame strike from this. Holy shit, man. Please don't hurt me. Is it over? Can I live another day? Am I gonna get fucking roped on top of everything? Are you fucking insane? I mean, like, come on. Come on. You gotta be kidding me, bro. Just on top of everything. Just fucking shat in my face, bro. Now it's time to shit in my face. Unbelievable. And now watch animations after all this fucking vomit. 
Vomit legendaries, bro. Anyways, so game sucks. It doesn't matter what they will do to the game. Just like it's twist. Twist never sucks. And uh, that person, I will have to send the ban notification. Whoever said twist sucks, bro. Like, get the fuck up, bro. Forever. Mm hmm. Actually, the take is so hot, you're banned in three days. There you go. Fucking moron. I don't want morons in my community. I'm not like, say, like a careful old fucking uh, no nonsensical dude that's stuck playing Hearthstone forever. Doesn't want to lose a single fan, you know. Doesn't want to create any piece of a drama. I'm showing an example. Like I can survive it. I'll survive drama. Dra the real drama is being stupid. And clearly, Twist is like useful for a community. It doesn't suck. So allowing people to do uh, shit like this, nah, bro. Standard sucks. All right. That's for sure. Because it could be so much better. Bye. I don't I don't even know if I'll play Hearthstone past this point, let alone like there's five days left. And I will start doing my thing. But I need my energy back. My I need my mood back. I I need my time. I don't know. It's all garbage. Let's just play emoji. Fucking bullshit. Man. <laughs> Get out of here. We're cooking. Now we lost. Lost that one. <laughs> this one's too easy. I mean, after playing too much of emoji shit, I'll definitely. It doesn't work yet? Okay. I need to add manually. I'll definitely be like bored of my own thing. And it's just also like the internal problem of how you allow yourself to get bored. What do you have to do to not be bored? It's just always the most complicated task. Because like right now to not be bored, I'm not supposed to be winning all the time. It's always supposed to be a challenge. And that's what's so addicting with competitive card games. It's always a challenge to beat other people. Crazy, right? This is why life exists. It's competitive. Except uh, by playing Hearthstone, we lose life. You know? You know, like they, how they say, no life person. Or do they not say that to you anymore? Do they not say that? Gamers have no life. Like, women say that. That this is, like, the least attractive feature. But at this point, like, they have to fucking give in that there's no escape. There's going to be plenty of gamers. And there's pl plenty of gamers to choose from as well. In terms of, like, uh, to give them life. Right? If this is the least attractive feature, what women can do is make us more attractive. Crazy, right? Just do their duty. They know how to be more attractive so they can fucking rip us off from the also I lost just now. Picked the wrong team somehow. Yeah, I have improved this significantly, so 
playing from my own. Kind of sad. But yeah. Building your own game is so much more fun when, when you know how to do it. Because holy shit, I've been programming for years and years and uh, to get comfortable programming, like only recently I can tell you guys, yeah. But you have to have your own engine. It works in a very similar fashion, I would say, where just you keep pumping tools into it. And you never forget anything. And you never overcomplicate anything. Then it works. Then you can build games. Games, mind you, that don't fucking lag. Games that don't require other people to play. In a particular fucking manner. Like, all of a sudden, single player indie games still fucking beating AAA. And another Minecraft is yet to happen, basically. Is what it is, man. So it's worth for me to take a break and just focus on developing just a completely different genre. Not a card game, but... But imagine. Imagine all these emojis shooting at each other. <laughs> it's fucking bullshit game. Well, like, it could be like Pokemon, right? Pokemon shooting at each other. <laughs> Fucking shooting lasers. It's the funniest shit ever, bro. <laughs> I've never seen a, a Pokemon game where, like, Pokemons have some kind of aim problems where they can actually miss the attack and, like, it's it's just all over the place. They're shooting fucking lightning bolts and, like, two lightning bolts, like, shoot in random directions and you never know if, if they're gonna hit or not based on the aim of Pokemon. <laughs> Fucking Pokemon shooting like an FPS game. Oh, uh, and you you plug three of them on the battlefield at one time. I don't know, man. There's so many things you can do and so many things you can come up with. I just feel so guilty playing Hearthstone at this point. You know what I mean? I feel guilty now, even though it's free. It's also a very freaky game that really doesn't know what, it, what it's doing anymore. That's, I guess, you know. Who am I to speak? I didn't give a fucking single dollar, but I might buy Twist if it's purchasable. And yet again, I don't know if they, uh, they would make it that way. I would buy Twist for like $20. You know, I'll buy it. I'll buy it from you, Blizzard. Give me twist, I'll give you twenty dollars. Probably not sixty. Hmm. Cause it's still gonna suck. You know. That's why I said in, in my poll. If it's twi if it's if you can buy it forever, it's gonna be open forever. It's also fun. That fun part is forty dollars. But open forever, twenty dollars. How about that, right? That's how I look at it. And most people agree. Well, most people, agree. this is like in a, in a halfway, so 42 disagree, and once just an insignificant amount for twist, they don't care that much. But the fact that people actually care about this, you know what? That's so cool. I like that. I like that opinion. For once, bro. For once we agree on something. Holy shit. You know what? That's that's amazing. Um because yeah, like most of the time, like this is a big disagreement, like what I can't roast creators. This is just uh interesting question that I, I failed. I failed miserably. And it just keeps going. This it feels like this is a good ending where we agreed on something that we want twist collectively so uh yeah see you guys whenever i feel like it because i ran out of steam this is the end uh fuck hearthstone though i want to see hearthstone roads from some other creators that would be interesting but it's just like they're doing a good job right now. I don't know.
Maybe I'm missing something. What is the Raran upload? Will it make me laugh? Is it one hour long? Let's find out, bro. Let's find out together. Or nothing? Just, just triple light? <laughs> is he just streaming now? Is that it? 30. But only with... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. He... Wait, what? Whatever. No, he still has the program. I want to see it one more time. Fuck it, Rain. Still gonna show Arena the program. He's halfway through the third. Yeah, the world of money making. And uh, I, I definitely hate it. I definitely don't know how to interact with it very well. It definitely causes me to panic attack so I cannot be in the, like, elevated level where I'm supposed to be above all these creators. Because all I have to do is just, like, I, I can control them. Bro. I can do whatever I want. I can see whatever I want. Because I ain't no money-making loser. Yeah, you have to be uh, in the elite... To be able to actually even afford to get all the Hearthstone cards as well. Like, the, the game is so expensive, it's fucking mentally insane to think about how expensive it is. It's just insane. For three months of shitty gameplay, pay $60. This is what we're talking about, bro. And you, you don't even get anything. You just get another opponent to play against you. Which is like, I'd rather play against myself. You know, play two different things against myself. Oh, man. Then at least it's fast and fabulous because I'm playing two interesting decks. Like, if they cannot give me good features, there's no reason to play the fucking game. If they cannot get, like, $5 out of me to fix their own fucking game, then they're not doing capitalism. They're just failing miserably. You know, because they cannot even propose a deal. They're losers. All of them combined, and that's how I leave them behind, they're losers forever. So, suck it up, bro. Suck on that shit. Goodbye. But please still subscribe. <laughs>